welcome to watch the video of switching in computer networks so normally in a larger networks there can be multiple path from sender to receiver so the switching technique decides the best route for data transmission how can you define the switching technology in networks so for the purpose of data transfer switching helps to forward the data packets between different nodes such as computers servers and any hardware devices then the next one is the connectivity of the network so it helps to exchange the data within a network that helps in facilitating sharing the information among the connected devices present in the network so the main important things to be noted in a computer networks the number one is efficient transferring of data so the switching helps to optimize the data transmission by directing the packets to correct destination then providing a security to the network that helps to prevent the unauthorized data flow inside the network then reliability of the network it helps to provide the redundancy and the fault tolerance that helps to enhance the reliability of the network types of switching so the number one type is circuit switching number two is packet switching then the third one is message switching so in the technique of circuit switching we establish a dedicated path between the sender and receiver before transmitting the data in case in case of packet switching we dividing the whole data into many packets and routing that packets independently over the networks message switching so before forwarding them to the destination it stores the entire messages at the intermediate nodes present inside the network classical example of circuit switching is traditional telephone network here this technique that establishes a dedicated path between sender and receiver so in this type of circuit switching the once the connection is established then the dedicated path will remain to exist until the connection is terminated so the next method is packet switching so here the data segmentation process is done where the data can be break down into packets each one containing a portion of the original data so then across the routing path each packet is individually transmitted based on its destination address then finally it reassembled at the receiver end to reconstruct the original data pre packet contains some information in its header such as source address destination address and the sequential number third type is message switching so here before forwarding the data to the destination this message switching helps to store the entire messages at the intermediate nodes present in the network this sometimes can introduce delay as the message has to wait in the queue as they are located at the intermediate nodes then reliability the this type of message switching can provide a high reliability the messages are stored before forwarding even if the nodes are failed it provide a high range of reliability the advantage of using this method is the data channels are shared among the communicated devices that improves the efficiency of the available bandwidth then we will come to the drawback the message switches must be equipped with sufficient storage to enable them to store the message until it is forwarded now we are comparing the efficiency latency reliability of all techniques as circuit switching is a dedicated path it is having high efficiency and reliability but the latency is poor when compared to other methods then packet switching the efficiency latency and reliability are medium among all the categories then the message switching so message switching is similar to that of store and forward network it should store the data and afterwards only it should forwarded to the particular nodes to reach the destination so the latency and reliability is very high for this method but the efficiency is somewhat poor when compared to packet switching and circuit switching for separate parameters the efficiency is high in terms of circuit switching and in case of latency 
the message switching provides a high value then the reliability is high among circuit and message switching in case of a advantage and disadvantages of comparing all the methods there's a efficient data transmission between sender and receiver then it helps to prevent unauthorized data the reliability of network is enhancing to some extent while using the switching technique then some drawbacks are there sometimes it causes a congestion in the network so it provides a complexity inside the network in some switching techniques the cost of the infrastructure is somewhat high as we discussed in circuit switching and packet switching the cost will be somewhat high while implementing these techniques the key components present during the switching technique is number one is switches that helps to connect the devices present in a local area network and it forwarded the data that based on the mac address then routers that helps to connect different networks and providing a path for data packets based on the internet protocol address then bridges that helps to connect to network segments and forward the mac address so it is similar to switches i hope you understand the concept of uh, switching in the computer networks meet you in the next video till then it's goodbye from vijay